good goodbye Hi Korea, it's Mike and Chester from Lincoln Park. We have a few things that we highly recommend when you visit Los Angeles. Uh, the first one, Chester, you, you wrote this one down. Um, so. I, I recommend going to Griffith Park Observatory. It's one of the most uh, recognizable and most famous landmarks in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You get the best view of the entire city. Um, it's also all about science, and I love science. Mm -hmm. Um, and apparently, yeah, I was just saying that point this out that um, the end of Rebel Without a Cause, the film Rebel Without a Cause, was shot um, in the front of Griffith Park Observatory. So it's, a, it's also a, a Hollywood landmark in those terms. If you're looking for a drink, uh, a place that I recommend is called the Pikey, which is a um, it's it's kind of in the style of like a British pub, but it's still very LA. Like the drinks are very uh, unique, the uh, like it's it's really social. Always good music um, and good food actually too. And speaking of food, uh, eating, I recommend Ink, um, which is m um, Michael Voltaggio's restaurant. It's a, it's just very LA. This restaurant, um, kind of experimental, like drawing from a whole bunch of different um, cultural. Fusion city. It's fusion city. Yeah. And bringing it full circle, there's a little bit of molecular gastronomy going on. Yeah, there's a little, science. There's a little science going on with the food as well. I love food. If science. you do, if you do go to Inc., I recommend. Um, I recommend the. Um, there's octopus. The food because it's called Inc. So there's octopus in its in its Inc. And um, there is there are these charred potatoes, which sounds like a really boring dish but it's one of the most exciting things on the menu. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and... They're begging you to stop. <laughs> That's what we recommend when you go to LA. Why is everything so heavy? Hi guys, it's Mike and Chester. I'm gonna hold all these, there's, there's papers in this hat with questions on them. I'm gonna hold them in there. It's a Lincoln Park hat with questions, and we're going to mix them up. And I'm gonna do this. Answer your questions. This is the one. Here we go. Truth or dare? Truth. <laughs> How do you feel about uh, criticism about Linkin Park's change? It, Fans who've been with us for a long time know that the band, uh, from album to album, we change a lot. Um, every album is usually a surprise. This one is no different. Um, the bottom line is that we're, you know, we're artists, and when we go into the studio, we like to uh, challenge ourselves, try new things out, and you know, from album to album things might go this direction or that. So the next album might be a metal album, it might be a hip hop album, it might be an electronic album, it might be a polka It might be album. a song about barbecue chicken. Who knows? More truth. I love Good Goodbye. What was the inspiration for the song? And uh, anything personal behind the song? Good Goodbye was um, originally, it was kind of like a, a funny, inspiration point because it's the only song I mean we've never done a song with an inspiration point like that started this way but it was kind of based on um, I love basketball and and there's a moment at the at the LA Lakers basketball game where if the opposing team has a player that fouls out they start playing this music and they like joyfully kick them out of the, the venue um, so it's that's kind of where it started but it also there's there's more than one way to look at that like um, I think we've all been in relationships with people where you're... They fell out. They fell out. And, <laughs> and you joyfully kicked them out of the building. And you're just, you couldn't be happier <laughs> about telling them to take a hike. Peace! So that's kind of what that song is about. Yeah, um, when you name the track list okay. of one... I'm going to do my best, life. but I think... I don't think I could name the track list. Nobody can album. save me now. Correcto. Uh, and that goes into... Um, Nobody can save me now. All right, so I think that answers your question. <laughs> what do you guys do to relax when you're on tour? I just hang out. I'm a dad, so I just kind of hang out at home with my family. It's chill. Okay. I do dad stuff. That was a super boring answer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, well, okay, so I'll give you the, that's the normal answer, and then the rock and roll answer is um, I skydive 
hang out with uh, Victoria's Secret models yes, because yes, I have to have them test the water temperature of my pool. Yeah. Um, let's well, see. by pool, he means it's a vodka pool. And then yeah. I also ride unicorns. Um, I, pre- I paint myself in gold and walk around naked in my neighborhood as a golden living statue. Mm. What was the hardest song to write on One More Light and why? I think that, unfortunately for Linkin Park, Every song is the hardest song. To write. <laughs> They're all <laughs> sit there and just pull our we hair out. Out. We pummel we each work, song. We just overdo it. On it, a part of it is like crafting a great song is like really. Sometimes it can be really frustrating and hard. Sometimes it's it's in general it's really fun. But like that's kind of how we. The challenge of doing it is part of the fun of doing it. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like mountain climbing. Like mountain climbing isn't just like fun. Mountain climbing is hard. I don't request this. Okay, I got, I got that. You so ready? ready? Yeah. How fast are we doing it? Dude, you just pick whatever you beatbox it. I'll do it. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Good, good.